Hello, hello. If you watch this in the replay, go ahead and tell me some blind buys you bought, good or bad. Tell me what blind buys you bought recently and were they good or bad blind buys? Because I always like to know these things. Let me know if that fan is too loud. I will turn it off, maybe. Cause it feels so good. The breeze is so good on my back right now. Anyway, hey Michelle, is that is that too loud? Let me know. Um, because it feels so good. Okay, so fans, by hey Melissa, hey hey hey. Okay, so um, I did do a poll. I tried to do a poll on the like. Girl, yes, it is finally cooling off here. It feels so lovely on my back. So I was going to do Date Night Perfumes, the Over 40 edition, but I'm not looking date night tonight. And I really wasn't planning on going live tonight, but I woke up. If it's too loud, I could turn it off because it's, it's cool enough that I can turn it off. So if it's too much, let me turn it off. And if, it, if it's too unbearable, if it gets hot in here, then I'll have to turn it back on. Malachi, Kylie, what are you doing? Oh, this might be better. There we go, it's on low. I thought it was on low already. It was not, it was on medium. There we go, hi Lala. But instead, because I'm just chilling tonight, we're gonna do blind buys, the good, the bad, and the meh, because I got a lot of them. If you're new to me <clears throat> and this perfume thing, I'm a blind buy queen um, because, no, nah, it's not hood heat. It's just hot out here. It's just hot here. It's been hot, hot, you know, it's been in the 80s. <clears throat> so, so anyway, y'all know I love a blind buy. So like. No, you shouldn't, you know, people say you really shouldn't blind buy and blah, blah, but we know I blind buy all day long. And, and part of it is, what? Hey, Coco, who did that? Your husband, he lost his mind. Oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead, choke him, choke him. Well, that sounds like some stupid shit. So, <clears throat> I have over, I have about 25 okay 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 yeah okay well don't tell him what to do but go ahead and kill him if you want to okay so i was going to do the sexy ones but but raw um i wasn't looking sexy today so you know at least it needs a little sparkle some makeup some lashes some anything so anyway I'm going to do blind buys. Um, girl, okay, Lala, this ain't got nothing to do with Rona. This is all about, I'm impatient. You know, it, I'm just impatient. I don't like, I'm not going to run around. I'm not trying to go out and see if I like a perfume. And quite frankly, a lot of them, hi, Rita, you really can't go out and find them anyway. So it's like you either got to try them and see if you like them. I'm not buying all these samples and trying them out and all that other stuff. I'm not doing none of that. I'm just going to say I'm going to buy it. And if I don't like it, I just don't like it. It's just this, the way of the world. Okay, that's the way of the world. Okay, Melissa, just let us know so we can, um, you know, get your bail fund together. Well, I don't put my AC in the window yet. It's going to be cool in here this year. Okay, so anyway, let's go. Um, update on the wench across the hall. And you buy whatever you want, Karen. You know I'm just crazy. Don't be crazy like me. I'm going to say this. Don't be crazy like me. Now, let me tell y'all the update on the wench across the hall before I get started. Um... But y'all seeing this, I'm starting to get my, my summer little look. Okay. But anyway, we ain't going to talk about the honey-coated honey -coated complexion coming on. Because I, I see y'all didn't really notice. Two things I want to talk about before we get started. Oh, my God. Let's get started. Okay. Um, the wench across the hall, she ain't telling him that she's moved. 
she is not she's she's swearing she still lives there and the bitch and the, the wench don't live there anymore you know we know she's not there it's been in the 80s her windows ain't open we haven't seen her no one could be living in there it's got to be an oven yes yeah, she moved out but she's tell, she won't tell my landlord because you know she got a thing with him him and her can't stand each other she swears she's still living there she ain't been there in over a week oh listen i'm pissed off at pat because i just really i gotta go buy an air conditioner this week so we can't i ain't got no money for pat Yes, the one that puts the trash on the porch. She does, but it don't matter. It's better to move out. No, it's just she don't like him. Her and him don't get along. And I think she's just doing the fuck you. You can't do nothing about me living there because of the Rona. But the courts open. The courts open on Monday. So he's like, he gonna rush and start an eviction process. So her dumb ass is gonna have an eviction if she don't watch it for no reason. Yes. Yes, he has already done that. We talked to him. He's already done that. It's going up down on Monday. He's saying, yeah, he well, that, which, yeah, okay. Hi, Michelle. Hi, hi. Right, okay. So now let's go past there. Now let's just talk about Rona and what's about to happen. Speaking of my, um, they put a stay on evictions, but it stops on June 1st. They open up the courts and, the, and they're going to let them start doing them again. So boom, once once the state opens, that shit stops too. So anyway, that's why she's doing it. Um, so anyway, are y'all ready? Let's let's talk about what we about to see this summer. We're gonna see the face mask tan lines. Because have the people who wear their um their face masks, that no what's gonna be the lock the backlog on is the one it's not that no because the court has been closed none of them have been going in so it's going to be a rush on them but if you were one of the first ones to do it um you'll be in okay so listen the face mask tan lines is coming because these people walking outside all day with them on here's the funny thing is that yeah we need to wear them when we go in places but if you're walking around outside unless somebody coughs in your space you're pretty much fine I'm not wearing that damn thing when I'm walking down the street. But you see them people walking around like with this. They're going to have them face mask tan lines. So can you imagine? I mean, like glass tan lines is bad enough, right? But imagine this tan line. That's going to be hilarious. Okay, so I'm going to laugh at all of them when they, when they show their face. You can wear sunblock, but you still won't get a tan. Some black only gets out a lot of the rays. It's not gonna get out all of them. So you're still gonna get a tan. This is what's gonna happen. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just talking and talking. Let's get started. Let's get started. Okay. Alrighty. So these are all the blind buys. A few things that I bought, I smelled in advance. But the overwhelming majority will um a reverse I don't know what kind of raccoon you could call them though because the raccoon look is gonna be here I don't know what it's about okay so um so the overwhelming majority are blind buys so we're gonna talk about the blind buys I got a whole list of them it's about 25 of them it's about 25 we're gonna start with one that I've had for a minute and have forgotten about this is um honey I'm a melanin monster um, this is pure grace endless summer this was from a couple of years ago and it is um you can find it like on fragrance net and everything so it's, it's cheaper now so I didn't pay full price for this um, yeah let me tell you so this is about if you find this about $25 and I'm gonna say this um, Eva Monroe talked about this in her summer scents. And let me say, it is a nice summer scent. It's a really nice summer scent. Really like it. Really like it. However, the reason why I'm going to give this a muff, because it, it's decent, it's a nice smell, it reminds me, um, this one is the two ounce one, I think. Yeah, this is the two ounce. It reminds me of green teas. 
it reminds me of Elizabeth Arden green teas so I don't need it um uh, I cannot place which one but it's just it smells like any of the like citrusy it, yuzu hi JC any of those it could be any of those and so instead of trying to find one of this you can just go and buy one of the cheap Elizabeth Arden ones like the mimosa um right um yes the green teas it's not a green tea but what I'm saying is like the citrusy vibe um <laughs> right um thirty eight dollars is not a big deal okay think about what you spent for okay so anyway it's not that it's um a green tea but it's a very citrusy very it has that vibe to it so it just reminds me I'm well uh, thank you for asking it just reminds me of a green tea like the green teas have some of them are more subtle on the tea so if you cannot find this that's all I'm saying is that don't rush to look for this just buy green tea right buy one that's more citrusy than like the honeysuckle or the nectarine um you know so that's why I'm saying that one that's what I'm saying that's you know it's a man because it didn't it's not like I'm dying for it um, and I have so many green teas it would just be one of them now the only thing is it has a slight more longevity than the green teas not much not that much more but slightly more so that's why I'm saying that it's okay um, I still haven't got the bergamot one yet um, I still have because I, ha I smelled it I haven't got around to getting it yet okay so now let's go into the Killians. So let's talk to Blind by the Killians. Let's talk about them. I'm not going to pull them all out. I'll just open them up so you can see them. Where's the rest of this? Oh, here it is. I'm like, where is this one at? <laughs> like, where is this one at? All right. So this one is Moonlight in Heaven. This is a very tropical one. It has notes of coconut. It has rice in it, which is a really interesting um, note to me. I really do like this one. Um, it's not one of my best. It's not, okay, let me say this. It's not one of, right, expensive bland bass. This isn't one of my best coconuts, because of course I have some that, are, that I like more, but this one is a nice, sexy if you want to and let me say this ain't okay let me put it this way never blind buy these if you can try them out at the price that we were getting them that we ordered them yes they were worth the, the try but at the regular price no however if you can get your nose on this go ahead and try it I, I should do um blind buy you know easy blind buys you know whatever they call it but anyway so this is moonlight in heaven you know alone for the case alone i love it so here we go but no it's really pretty it's you know it's a really um yeah yeah no for, yeah no for full price but it's beautiful at the price i paid so i, I ain't got no complaints about that <laughs> okay so that's a, that's a good one all right, let me go with this one. Woman in gold. Woman in gold right here. This is woman in gold. Okay, woman in gold. I like this one a lot. I know that Coco and me differ on this one, but I like woman in gold. It reminds me of very country club. It's got a very country club vibe to it. Let me smell it again, because I ain't smelled it in a minute. Um, I need to, this is what I'm going to be pulling out soon. Um, it has a very country, right. Well, this is like, no, this is, the travel spray is a $195. They, they retail for $195 on the Killian site. So, yeah, that's how much a travel spray is with Killian. The travel spray sets are 195 You know, um, the thing is, is that, um, why did I close this? 
Yeah, no, they're one ninety five. Now let me say, I know y'all gonna say these are insane pricing, but this is standard pricing on this level for travel sprays. Matter of fact, Killian is actually one of the least expensive ones. Um, Baccarat Rouge five forty goes for um, Baccarat Rouge five forty goes for about I think two ninety five for their travel sprays. Uh, yeah, you have to try these before you buy these. But at the price that we found that, you know, I snuck up on them, they was worth it. You know, these were so good a price. The ones now, but okay, let me say. Yeah. So, hi, Jay. You're new. Let me tell you, I love this one. It is very woman. It is very, um... Yeah, yeah, they done lost their mind. Now that's true. On on they have lost their damn mind. They're they've lost their mind. And um, so I don't know why anybody gonna pay that price. Um you but that's called people who don't know. Cause if you know, you know. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, the the fragrance, um, well you those are for okay. The BR540 for 30 is a decant. Um right 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 so this i you know hi lisa okay so this i love this is very um country club lady this is very you know high end um right it's very high end just you know one of those things that you're going to be rocking like that right yeah exactly i agree because i'm all over the place so i like i love woman in gold it's it's kind of got a, a powdery vibe to it but it's really pretty to me it smells really good on me this will be something that i would definitely wear to an event um or just whenever you know me i don't give a fuck um but it's it but for but you know at that price this would definitely be for you know special family events special events um right so that's that. Voulez-vous coucher avec moi? C'est soi? You know, I had to make that. Um... Right. Um, this, now, this one has the most stunning travel spray bottle. This damn thing is beautiful. Um, is absolutely beautiful. Um, and if, oh, okay, and see, let me put this in perspective for you all one time Ford travel spray which is a third of an ounce is sixty dollars so what happens is you don't notice how much you're paying for it because it's like it, he did it in small ones which don't get me wrong I think they're cute but his are 60 I'm just putting it out there so they're all about the same price and that's one third of an ounce so you're getting think about it and people don't notice that they'll buy them like oh but you're really not noticing how much you're paying right now this one is the least liked of these i gotta be honest this of the killians that i bought is my least liked one it is uh <laughs> right right i'm 2 a.m baby i just wake up in the middle of the night and look at some shit be like ooh. so should i get it so this is the least like this is very powdery it's not a bad scent let me say that it's not a bad scent, but it's just, it's very powdery. I would wear this, but I'm not dying to wear it. Um, so should you do woman and go before which one? I love don't be shy. You should get before woman and go. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. So this is very powdery. Um, but I like it because I like powdery scents. So I like it. I will wear it. Um, it don't stink or anything. But it's right. But it's like my least liked one. However, um, oh yeah, before, oh yeah, before Voulez-vous. Um, but let me say this. That's a, Voulez-vous coucher avec moi is a very good everyday scent. 
Like, if you were, like, balling like that and just, like, you know, I'm going to spray some shit on and I'm just going to walk out the door, voulez-vous voulez would be very good for that. Um, <laughs> right. You know, um, it would be very good for that because it's, it's not, um, it, it doesn't stand out so much. It's a really pretty, um, safe scent. So that's why I would say that's a very good one for every day. All right, next up is Playing With The Devil. Playing With The Devil is very much so, um, I'm kind of putting, it's an interesting scent. And I'm saying that to say, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I wouldn't, if I was going to buy one, I would get Woman and go over Voulez-vous. So if it was between the two, I would definitely get Woman and Gold. I think you'll like that one more. You'll get more use out of. Playing in Devil with the Devil is very interesting. It's got this pimento. It's got this spicy, sweet kind of vibe going on. It's hard to explain it. It's hard to explain this one, but it's really good to me. Um, because it leans, it has this really... It's sexy. Okay. It's it's sort of like Good Girl Gone Bad because Good Girl Gone Bad, you cannot we'll talk about it in a second. But this um this has a really interesting smell to it. Um it's sexy in this weird, not what you expect, not what I would normally think sexy. And it's one of those things that you have to wear a couple of times. Like when I first sprayed it on myself, I was like, uh, no, um, uh, no, oh shit, nah, I bought all these damn Killians. And this was the first one that came that I tried. And I was like, Ugh. so it got this sweetness to it, but it's got this kind of weird smell that I've never smelled before. And I'm, I'm betting it's the pimento because I looked up the notes and it's got pimento in it. So it's got this sweetness to it, but it's got this kind of different sweetness which I know is coming from the pimento. So I like it. I'm gonna wear it more. I think I'm gonna pull it out for the summertime because it's kind of got a fruity sweetness to it. Um, right. Now, you know I ain't talking about that damn good girl gone bad. <laughs> so, boom, there we have it. Okay, so playing with the devil, I like. I'm gonna wear this a few more times. Because it's a, it's, this is not blind buy worthy. I would never, first off, I would never tell anybody to spend this kind of money blind buying it. I never would. Um, because this is, these are expensive. So these aren't something I would say, yeah, girl, go and buy that shit. Now, based on knowing who you are, I might tell you that. Uh, uh. Okay, these are. Hi, V. All right, now, these are the two that I really want, that I wanted to pay more money for. Luckily, when I snatched them, when they snap, canceled my order, I still paid a decent price for these. So they weren't that expensive in the scheme of things, like what they're trying to go for now. See, what's happening is uh, Ferguson is trying to make that money back from when they made the debacle. So now they're trying to charge more, and hopefully people will get it, right? All right, so this one is Good Girl Gone Bad. This is the number one selling scent by Killian. I saw the guy, I saw the one of the directors. There's a uh, video uh, with the, one of the directors from Killian with Smelling Great Fragrances. Um, right, oh, <laughs> oh good. Um, this is beautiful. It is what everybody says it is. It's a very beautiful, sexy scent. However, I can't even explain it to you because I'm not going to pull up notes and everything tonight. I'm just going to tell you what I think of them. This is a beautiful, sexy scent. You will not smell like most of the people you know, um, but it's very hard to explain this scent to people. But it is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. And it's sexy. It's got a sexiness to it, you know, and it's a... Um, it's on, a, it's on a different type of sexy. It's not in your face sexy. It's kind of a subtle sexy. All right. Now, Love, Don't Be Shy is re-recent. So this 
first off, this one, I love the, the package on this one too. The travel spray on this one is gorgeous too. Um, no, it's nothing that I've ever smelled before either. And I, my nose ain't that great either. But I'm saying, I and um, this one right here is, I love it too. It's more, it's sweeter. It's a very sweet, but it's not overly sweet. So it's really, really pretty. Um, you will get compliments with it. I really like it. It's one of my favorites of my Killian's. Um, what, will I keep all my Killian's? Hell yeah. Um, the, yes, Riri. She was, apparently she was, someone, they asked her, someone asked her um, what she wears. And um, she said that she wears um, Love Don't Be Shy. It, that something was asked about, you know, supposedly there's a story that um, that somebody asked her what she wore and she said she was wearing Love Don't Be Shy and then that's when it sold out. Um, so it was hard to get for a minute. But this is, uh, so that's here. Okay, so now I'm going to go through these and then we're going to hit the Mancera's last. So we start with the Killian's, we're going to end with the Mancera's because it's a lot of Mancera's. Uh, yeah, she has her own... Um, she has her own uh, site, her own celebrity scent line, but that just tells you something. And that's all I'm going to say. What is this crawling on my thing? What is that? Get off of there. Okay. Ooh, we almost had an incident. An incident. I'm not judging shit. Okay, so here we go. Orchidy Vani. This is... Um, this is one of those. Um, this is Van Cleef and Arpels Orchid Vanille. This is very talked about in the fragrance world um, as a very beautiful vanilla, and it is. It's a very soft vanilla. It's more. It's got a, a kind of a fruit, a floral fruity vibe, but it, the vanilla is very soft, um, and it's really beautiful. I think it's a really beautiful. Ah, I think it's a be beautiful fr fragrance for especially at this time of year so it's a vanilla that you could wear in the in the hot weather and you can wear this all year but like i think it'll shine during the hot weather because it's not so strong a vanilla that it'll be overpowering in the heat it'll be just enough gentle vanilla to to smell good in the heat wearing your vanilla okay that one bella blanca Okay, so here's the Bella Blanca. The Ble Bella Blanca is Oscar de la Renta. It's um, a white floral. However, let me say this. So this is kind of on the must side. I like it, but it is got a soapy quality to it to me. So I'm not a huge soapy fragrance girl. Um, it's very clean smelling. It's kind of bordering on soapy. So I'm going to have to wear it a few more times. See how it plays in the heat on my skin. So right now this is a muh. This is a eh. Okay. So I love the bottle though. I think the bottle is so pretty. Um, I like it even more than the Bella Rosa. For some reason I like it in white really. I think the white is stunning. I really do. Um, but it's very soapy on my skin. And I know I like the soapy smell. So it's a meh for me right now. Uh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna go with this one. Ooh, water bugs. <laughs> All right, roses musk. This is this is Montal's roses musk. This has been talked about a lot in the fragrance community, in reference to it being just like this is the most perfect rose. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Let me say this. If you like a musk e rose, this is beautiful. Um, it took me a minute to like it. I was wearing it today and the fan was on and it was hitting me. And I was like, oh, wow, this is really gorgeous. I mean, this is like, I felt like just like this rosy musk. But it is. It is a rose musk. It is a beautiful scent. I will agree with that. I just don't think of it as just like the be all and all. I mean, people are like, oh my God, this is the best rose ever. I don't think it's the best rose ever, but I think it's really pretty. I think it's a beautiful, um, to rose, um, it's a little different. This is definitely, um, definitely, uh, got a musky, more musky smell to it. It's not sweet as rose greedy, but it is a very beautiful rose. Let me say, 
you can't um it won't hurt you to have it if you have roses greedy because they're so kind of different yeah this is a musky rose right so if you're not into musk it's not you wouldn't want it uh it took me a, a minute to grow on me though because at first i was like eh, i'm not sure if i like it but now i think it's beautiful i think it's lovely um i don't say that i think this is like the best one of the best rose i have in my no roses greedy parfait de roses roses barbaranza still beat this out to me but it is a really beautiful rose especially if you get it at a good price i think i paid really good price for this because this is a tester bottle so that's that. Um, let's talk. Uh, oh, let's go with this one. Mugler's Eau Extraordinaire. So this is the tropical Mugler. Eau Sublime and this one are very tropical. However, this has no jasmine in it. So it's kind of a departure from the DNA. So it doesn't have the, the it has the tiari flower, things like that. So this is a very pretty tropical um, alien. Now, the thing is, I, I kind of like the, the flankers better than I like the original alien. I, I've learned to like the original alien, but I really like the flankers. This is a really pretty tropical floral um, alien. Um, so I have O Sublime, I have O Extraordinaire, or o Extraordinaire. They're, they're different, so you don't need them both. It just depends on what you're looking for. So this that one is more um, solar note, so it's a, a brighter one. This is a little deeper. This is more of a, uh, this is more of a sexier one. Where O Sublime is beautiful, I think O Extraordinaire is a little deeper, a little sexier. So I think this is a little, uh, this is a little different, just a little bit. Um, but you don't need O Sublime and O Extraordinaire. Um, the, it just depends on what your vibe is. All right, let me go with these. Which one is this? Is this the other one? Nope, 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 it's this one. All right, so these are the Maison Lancomes that I bought last month. This is Jasmine Marzipan. This is Magnolia Rosé. All right, let's talk about these. Jasmine Marzipan is beautiful. Um, beautiful. You know what? You can do decants. I have. I, I don't have Jasmine Marzipan, but you can. I have decants of Roses Verbe Bronze, Michelle. Mm. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, Jasmine's Marza pan is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Um, and Michelle inbox me. I'll sell you a decan. I'm not planning on, but for you, I'll, you because you one of my girls. I'll sell you a decan of this. See how much I love you. Um, this is the most perfect Jasmine of my Jasmine. And the reason why I say that is that it is, uh, this is not that like skanky indolic one. You know how sometimes Jasmine is too heavy. It's like the, the alien Jasmine. This is the opposite of the alien Jasmine. It is this perfect garden Jasmine. Um, hey, Danny. Um, it, it is... Now, it says marzipan. I don't get the almond in it. I don't get that sweetness. What I get is this beautiful, beautiful jasmine, this garden fresh. I had a jasmine um, plant before, and it smells like jasmine. Um, when the, when they were blooming, my, when I, I could get it, when it was blooming, it's beautiful. Hey, Danny. Um, so there's a slight sweetness, but I don't get that whole candy almond thing that people talk about. I don't get that. But what I get is this beautiful, beautiful ass, beautiful ass jasmine. Love it. Absolutely love it. Magnolia Rose. This baby is gorgeous too. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful too. 
Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. It is like, it's just a beautiful, um, it's just a beautiful magnolia. If this is what magnolia smell like, this is gorgeous. Because it's just a crisp, clear floral. It's nothing, it's nothing, oh, it's nothing that's like, out. it's like, oh my God, groundbreaking. But it's just such a beautiful floral that wearing this, you would smell like a garden. If you want, if you like really love the garden smell, um, now, I'm telling you this now, this is probably the last day you can get it. 25% off or 30% off if you go in, they might give you a 30% off coupon. Um, right. Yeah. Right. This is beautiful. Now, um, I'm going to wait for Christmas time and I'm buying these full, full bottles. I probably am because you cannot find these on the websites. You got to pay full price or when Lancome does another sale because quite honestly, okay, here we go. Here's my truth. I bought another Lancome. I didn't buy these. I, I bought another one on the sale. Santel Carterman will be here on Friday. Which I will be able to give um, decans of the Santal Carterman because it will be here on Friday. Right. Okay, so I, I, I okay, this is that, etc. So this is freaking beautiful. What day did I buy that? It was after that I broke the thing already. You know what I'm saying? I already broke it. I already broke it. Okay, now if you like, once again, I will be decanting. Let me tell you, before we keep going, let me tell y'all this. I am doing decants. And let me tell you about the decans. The decans um, it are based on what, it's not about me making a lot of money. It's just make, offsetting me so I can buy some more perfume. Just being honest with you all. I'm not trying to make a mint on these decants, but I want to share them with you all so you all can try them out if you want to try them. Um, right. Um, yeah, I saw you already bought some stuff, Danny. So I lost. Okay, I admit to my losing, but you, you, we lost together. We lost. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying that I want you all to understand that's part. That's mainly the reason why I'm doing it because I know I sp talk about so many and I feel kind of like cringy if you all buy them without trying, you know, on my word. And yes, I think they're beautiful, but if you can try them, I'd rather, you know, hey, if you want to just try them, go ahead. Um, right, we both won, right? So that that's kind of why I'm doing it. It's kind of to offset all my spending. And allow me to buy more just to be honest because what happens is I'm recycling that money into you know buy more just just being real so if you would like to so decanting um, you know is not about me trying so I'm never gonna be that person who's gonna be like the decant queen no but what I have and I want to share I will do that and the other thing with that is if you are in the fragrance community you can't find decans for fem feminine scents that much because, you know, it's all about the, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yes, you do. Oh, do you? Okay. Okay. Cause I was doing a decan for that. Okay. Uh, okay. So here we go. So speaking of girl and now let's talk about them. Right. We have Girl of Now Forever. We have Girl of Now Shine. Let me tell you about these. Now, first off, we know Girl of Now, the original, is DJ's favorite perfume, um, you know, from when he did the first night. And and the second time, second round either, nothing beat Girl of Now. He, had, he liked some good shit, but um, it was like, he loved it. Okay, so let's talk about Girl of Now Forever. Girl of Now Forever, honestly, now that I've had it for a minute, it's sat down. It, it it is a Delina. It is a Delina dupe. It is very similar to Delina. The only difference is it's not as sharp. Um Yeah, the oh Girl of Now was his very favorite. So Girl of Now Forever is a little sharpness. It has a little sharpness to it. Um I personally like it. Um so it's, it doesn't have the rhubarb, but it has black currant, and it does give it a sharpness, but it's a little sweeter. 
so that's girl of now forever love it it's one of my favorites already oh my eye must be getting sick whenever i'm not feeling well this eye waters um oh no no girl of now is much cheaper you can get girl of now the big bottle for 60 some dollars this is the small bottle let me say i'm going to get the big bottle of girl of now forever so i'm willing to decant this whole bottle out because my plan is to buy me a big bottle of this so everybody can try out of this one this is girl of now shine this is more similar to the original girl of now but it doesn't have the pistachio and it is um it's a little it's a little brighter it's not as quite as strong it's not as, as um it's not as as girl of now so this is a lighter brighter breezier vibe to the so you let me say this if you um yes uh yeah yeah see 57 that's what i'm talking about um so shine is if you haven't gotten girl and now you don't need them both so if you have girl and now you really don't need a shine unless you want a a a a version that's better for the summertime for like hotter weather because I think Girl and Now is too heavy for went for this time of weather. It's great in the fall, it's great in the winter because it's a really strong scent. It's really pretty. This one I will wear now more so or like in the transitional. Um Kaleidos is having a new palette. I didn't know that. <laughs> so that let's go with since we all at least out, let's talk about Essence number nine, tuberose. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful tuberose. Um, this is a beautiful tuberose. Oh, I'm gonna have to go look at that because I think I want that. You know, I like Kaleidos. I like their um, their you know. Uh, so. This is a beautiful tuberose. Hi, Becky Mass style. Never seen you. Welcome. This, but this is like, this has a cinnamon in it. So this makes it a more interesting, you know, because we know we got the, um, you know, we love the, you know, I love tuberose. I've, I've got this new love for tuberose. Love, love, love me some tuberose. Uh, ooh, I'm going to have to go look at that. Um, and... The reason why I like this is because it's a little different. It's a very um, classic tuberose. It doesn't have that bubblegummy smell to it. It has a spiciness that most don't. So this is perfect for uh, this is perfect for winter time because it's got this cinnamony, spicy vibe to the tuberose. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So that's it. So this is Eli Saab essence number nine tuberose so this is a really nice one love it 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 delina exclusive now i already have delina so this wasn't a departure um however let me tell y'all this is the darker deeper sexier sister to delina delina is a little brighter it's got that rhubarb this does not have the rhubarb in it it has oud it has incense it is a much deeper sexier scent and maybe it lasts on your skin now y'all know stuff don't last on me that well so i don't always talk about projection and i don't necessarily say about projection but i don't talk about um you know lasting on you because that's all subjective to your skin i can tell you my skin eats up a lot of scents but baby this stayed on me all day and it is just this dark the dark sister to delina so if you have delina i would not say if you love delina you would like this one too um and if you really want it now i am decanting this so you can get a decant of this so just just know Baby, she's gorgeous. Go for gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so I did them, I did them. Okay, so here's this one, and then I'm going to do Amouage, and then we get into the Manceras. So this is time for Noir Parfum. If you don't like Delina, I don't know if you like that one. 
Um, it depends on what you don't like in Delina. The sharpness of Delina is gone, but it still kind of smells similar. It's just a, a deeper one. Um, so I don't know. I, people say if you you know that they like Delina exclusive better than Delina, um, but I don't. I don't. I wouldn't necessarily say that's a safe blind buy if you really weren't feeling Delina. All right. So this is time for Noir Femme. So I hear about this all the time, and how this is one sex. When we, a lot of times when women talk about sexy fr fragrances. Um, um, I have the amounts if you look at the get uh, contact me for the decant list because it all varies depending on how much I'm willing to give up um, and the size of the bottle so um, you just have to see what's available how many I've sold you know that kind of thing so it's all it all it's all subject it's all dependent on which ones they are some have more that I'm willing to give up some not so many okay so this is time for noir pork fat yeah, it is a masculine bottle, but I don't, and so on paper, it smells, okay, really good, but here's what I'm going to say about this fragrance. I'm starting to like it. It's a month for me right now. I mean, meh, because everybody talks about it like it's so wonderful, it's so sexy, it's so this, I can see the sexiness in it. But I'm going to tell you this, is that it doesn't ring as well on me at first. So it's something I'm trying to, that I'm working on, seeing if I like it or if I'm going to wind up just decanting the whole thing. Um, but I'm talking about how it smells on me, Jay, because I think it smells lovely when I smell it on paper. But on me, it, okay, let me tell y'all what it smells like to me. It kind of has a baby aspirin smell to me in the beginning. Um, so... I'm working on it. Um, yeah, it, it kind of goes a little weird on me. So I'm trying to decide if I like it or if I'm just going to decant this baby. Because I think it's a really pretty scent. But I don't know if it works that well on me. So I'm going back and forth with this. Because I really think it's gorgeous. It does have a sexiness to it. Because um, it has a little sweetness to it. Um, but I don't know. I'm going back and forth with it. So right now it's a meh. I mean, and it's just, you know, your descriptions, Michelle, your descriptions. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> right. I mean, but people swear by this thing. They be like, oh my God, time for noir, noir parfum. This is so sexy. I mean, you see this a lot in fragrance community. They be talking about, oh my God. And I'm, 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 I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to decide if I like it. I'm just trying. Um, however, I can see it smelling good on some people. Yes, she does. Michelle, Michelle, Michelle takes you there. Oh, you know what it is? Look, this one. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so... Um, this is Love Tuberose. She just rolls them out, right? This is Love Tuberose. This is Amouage Love Tuberose. Okay, first off, we know I love the bottle because I love Amouage's bottles. This is a beautiful, beautiful tuberose. Um, it is so gorgeous. It is just, um, you know, it's it's that garden, fresh flower, tuberose. Yes. You know, because like I say, they can go bubblegummy on you. Get that sweetness. This is not. This is beautiful. It was worth every penny. This is, this is up there with Honor. You know, this is Honor's sister. Um, honor is white florals where this is this means more tuberose than honor this is more tuberose than honor no, it's it's gorgeous it's gorgeous i'm just, and it's you know it is unwashed it does have long, it lasts long on the skin it's just a beautiful blend it is 
Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Right, exactly. You know, I, I but I still see some more that I'm gonna try. Okay, don't worry about it. Coco. I got you. I'm I'm trying for you. I'm trying to force. Okay. So anyway, this is love tuberose. Stunning, 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 stunning. Right. See, that's what I'm talking about, Lala. That's what she has you. That's what she does to you. You have you 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 have like dreams of things like Satan's butthole. You know what I'm saying? It's just she takes oh shit. Hold on, hold on. Oh, never mind. I'm going to get some new ones. Hi. Hello. Um, talking fragrances. Talking fragrances. Talking fragrances. Okay. Okay. Before we get into the Mancera's, I did get La Belle by Gautier. Y'all, this is beautiful. I'm telling y'all now, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. It's hard to get a hold of because for some reason, Gautier isn't selling in stores. I don't know what that's about, but you cannot find him in the stores anymore. It's hard. You got to wait until this hits fragrance net and it sells out immediately. This is beautiful. Right? This is gorgeous. This pear is vetiver. I think it's vanilla. It's just like the, the notes are really simple but it is so beautiful this is definitely this is well okay this is part of my date night when we'll be doing this is freaking gorgeous i'm just telling y'all this now it's gorgeous it's gorgeous it's gorgeous you need it don't worry about that one melissa don't start that one don't go down that path you don't want to know about it Shh. we don't we don't bring that one up again uh Daddy said, why is tuberose so fab? Um, um, you know what? It's hard to explain, but it's a beautiful floral. And once you smell tuberose, you'll be like, oh my God, it's an, a well done tuberose. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, we can't, mm -mm, mm -mm, we're not going there. Um, it had, it, it started out with Kat Von D and it went, it went awry from there. Um, Right. She yes, yeah, she has been. So it's hard to explain, Danny. I'll have to send you. I think I did. Okay, it's in your box. It's in your bag. Don't worry about it. You're gonna know in a minute because I sent you one. You'll see what we're talking about. You will see what we're talking about. But it tuberose is just a really you have it. Okay, done wrong. Tuberose can be like. Uh, but if you get a really beautiful tuberose, um, it's like a beautiful floral. It just makes you feel so feminine. It's a really feminine scent done well. Now, not every tuberose is good, but because some of them can be a little too much. Because a lot of times people don't like tuberose because it's um, kind of like that almost um, rotten flower smell. Right yeah it, it's kind of hard to say so you'd have to smell it because um yes okay so you like jasmine you like you might like it okay so anyway this labelle labelle is gorgeous i want a big bottle of this i was only able to snatch the the 30 mil but I want a bigger bottle of this because it is really a really pretty it's, it's everybody's been hyping it and I see why it is really gorgeous it's just a really it's got pear um, python which we're going to talk about in a second okay so what the hell okay so now ouch oh I'm still sore what the fuck is going on okay so let's get into the Manceras that I bought during Mancera Apocalypse. Yes, it can smell like rotten flowers, just like Jasmine can. It has to be done well. Okay. Hey, Renita. Okay, so this is... Um, yeah, you know, because Gautier has been doing it for years. Gautier has been doing this style of bottle since the 90s. You know, from look if you look at Gautier, the classics and everything, yeah, that's where she got it from. That's why when she came out with it, everybody's like, oh my god. I was like, okay, 
And what's so groundbreaking about that? That's his bottle. The only thing she made different is that she put, did she put nipples on or some shit? I don't know. Okay, don't get me started on her. This is Choco Violet right here. Okay. This is right. Right, exactly, exactly. Same thing with tuberose. If you like Angel Muse, you will love Choco Violet. This is very heavy on the hazelnut, though. And this is a beast on your skin. This is... um Right, exactly. Um, This is a beast on your skin, let me tell you. <clears throat> right. So this is like beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, if you like Angel Muse, I would suggest you try to get this because this is a now, like I said, it's very heavy. It's more heavy on the hazelnut than the chocolate. Like I think I want to like layer this with a, a chocolate to really like pop it. Like ooh, but you will smell heavenly. And now here's the thing with this is that this is very much so. Um, and then when, as it dries down, you're going to get the hazelnut for a long time. Yes. Hazelnut. Um, yes. It's, well, you, like angel muse has the Nutella accord, like that chocolate hazelnut accord. This one is chocolate hazelnut. Um, and it has, and then it has the florals, which are the violet toward the end. You, you do get the violet cause the violet gives it like a, a sort of, um, must uh, a sort of like powdery vibe to it so you do get the floral as it dries down um but this one is baby this is intense so you'd have to smell this one to really know but like i said if you like angel muse you'll like this one too so if you have angel muse this is a good buy damn everything is ah, i must have slept wrong Ugh. Um, they're all big bottles. Um, yeah, yeah, Melissa, right. Right, right, exactly. You get that violet and the hazelnut. So the chocolate doesn't last as long. It's more about the hazelnut and the violets. And the hazelnut is intense. Um, yeah, Melissa, there's, um, Choco Must. Yeah, oh, most definitely. You could wear this at the holidays and everything and smell like, you know, a dessert. So, yes, definitely that time of year. Okay, so we got Choco Violet. Let's keep going. Vanille Exclusive. This is a beautiful vanilla. Oh, shit. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is a beautiful vanilla, um, but it's not too vanilla. So it's not to the point. Let me tell you all something. Um, I'm going to be, spoiler alert, I love all the, the Manceras I bought recently. I, I don't have one Mancera that I don't like, but so we'll just do a description of them. They're all good. There we go. There we have it. <laughs> um, uh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Um. It's a lighter weight vanilla, but the vanilla is, is sweet and strong, but it's just not as it's, it's lighter. It's beautiful. It just, it, it's something about it that is just gorgeous. Um, so if, in case anybody doesn't know, Mancera's are all the size. They all come in the four ounces. So they're 120 mils. So they are a very good value. Um, and you can find these less than retail. They retail for 180. Don't ever pay full price for a Mancera. Don't ever pay full price for a Mancera. You can always find these on sale. And there's a lot. Um, see, I don't have it, but okay. Thank you for explaining that to me because I don't have that. Because I don't have. Um, so if you um, want to try them, um, yeah. I mean, there are some that you're gonna want, you might pay a hundred. However, not really because on the off market, you can pretty much find most of them. The only one, um, yes, it's not a stripper sweet vanilla. It's more sophisticated. This is Rose's Vanille. I saw somebody talking about this. They was like, this smells like medicine. I'm like, okay, girl, we can't get along. I'm just joking. Um, this 
is one of those stunning roses vanilla. It's not too candy, but it's gorgeous. I mean, I like roses. I like vanilla. Okay, there we go. But uh, this is um, this is a lighter weight roses greedy. Whereas Rose is greedy, you know, that's me and Melissa, Melissa, Rose is motherfucking greedy. This is Rose's Vanity. Um, it has a more vanilla scent to it. It is still beautiful. It's a very, um, I would want to say it's a very um, light rose vanilla. Uh, so it's not too, too hard. You might have to hit the pole. Um, Oh, right. Roses greedy squad. Yes, we are the roses greedy squad. Uh, squad. Kelly. Uh, I get get with me. I'll get you. I'll hook you up. Um, yeah. If you want to try them, Kelly, I have the. D Those are all available for decants. So if you want to try them, you know, look through the decant list. I'll send it to you. Um, and then you can figure it out. And then if you figure out which ones you want, I'll hook you up. Because um, some of them you can find, not always. But, um, yeah, there's a couple places you can buy them. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coco Vanille. Y'all. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, man. This is coconut, this is vanilla, this makes me happy. This is like summer in a bottle. Coco, coco vanille is just summer, you know, you just smell like, you just smell like you wanna be just out there just kicking it in the summertime, you know. Got your coconutty, suntanny lotion, but it's got that vanilla in it. Coco vanille, yes! Okay, I see a bunch of people in here. I got 12 likes and 60 people. Come on in and say hello. I know y'all love it. Y'all here for the fragrance. But Coco Vanille is freaking awesome. I'm just here to tell y'all this. Oh, man. I bet it has been. Okay, then the last, that one, and then the last one we will talk about. Here we go. Right, exactly. Coco ruins lives. <laughs> Holidays. Now this is Coco's favorite. One of Coco's favorites. This is very tropical. This has got tiari flower. This is a very tropical, fruity, floral scent. You just be like, you feel like you should be in Trinidad. I would be like with my trinnies dancing to some soca. You know, you're doing a little soca, or if you go to Jamaica, you winding it up. Mmm. Mmm. It's beautiful. And I really love Tiari Flower for the summertime. Something about Tiari Flower. That's my new hot summer floral. Gas to have some Tiari Flower in it. Tiari Flower in it. Okay, we love it. Okay, and um, and once you smell tiari flower and a few things you'll catch the, the scent of it and so you'll know what it smells like so i don't necessarily i can't tell you until you smell tiari flower and understand know that that's a note in there then you'll catch it be like oh that's what i've been smelling because a lot of times in things that are you know oh, okay that's awesome a lot of times you will find that you're like oh, okay that's what that is so it's a very distinctive floral um, nah, I, mm -mm, now y'all know who I am. I don't, I, because mm -mm, you know what happened. You know the end of that story, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Especially Coco Vanille. I, so yeah, okay, so I, you'll see because, but wait, um, yeah, yeah, wait until, you, yeah, go and get you some decants, I'm, because I'm sending out decants this week, so, you know, we can do, what the hell, what is going on with this dust, okay, so anyway, there we go, we have that, 
And then the last one, is this the last one? Wild Python. Wild Python. This is a beautiful, stunning tuberose. Oh my God. Well, see, I didn't actually technically um, blind buy that one, but we're going to talk about those. So I'm going to throw those in at the end. We about to add, as soon as I'm done with this, we're going to do a couple of reviews of some stuff that I actually bought that I had tried before. So we're going to do a quick review of them too. So I got you, Melissa. No, I got you. I got you, Melissa. We we right there though. I'm I'm right there with you, girl. Oh, this right here is gorgeous. This right here, baby bye. That's all I got to say. Baby bye. This is one of the best tuberoses. One of the most garden, most fresh tuberoses I have. I love, love tuberose, but for on the the pricing, this is the best, this is the better deal. Even though Lord knows I love me some I'm a wash and I'm gonna keep buying these bitches. This is so beautiful. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. I'm out here like the like the peoples. I'm out here. I'm out here like the peoples, y'all. I'm out here like the peoples. Hi, Jana. Mm. You better take care of your skin. Let's talk. We'll have a skincare thing then. Getting your skin back. Okay. Oh my God, this is so good. I mean, it's just oh. I, I just can't go into it. It's just wild python. And I got to thank Coco because she mentioned she was getting it. And I looked at the notes and I said, motherfucker, I need this. It's got peach in it. It's got the sweetness to it. It's got a little osmanthus. Oh, this is so gorgeous. But this, this is all I'm going to say. This is the tuberose roses greedy. Don't worry, that's the one you're getting a, a, a sample of. See how much I love you? This is the one I sent you a sample of. Michelle, you get one too. Okay. I'm just telling the truth. It's so good. It is so good. It is so good. Michelle. Come on, get the decan. Get the decan. I'm decanning that for you. Wild motherfucking python. Just gonna get your decan because I'm sending them out this week. So on. I got my bot. Look, I got it. I got. I got them right here. Um, Janice, send me the thing. I'll send you the um list because there. This is my decan list. Sister gotta buy some more perfumes. So I got to make some money back. <laughs> so. But you don't smell the peach. It just gives it a beautiful sweetness. I got my D. I got some more coming. I got some more. There's got to be 10 of these babies in here. Okay. I got them. I used up the ones I had yesterday, but I will be. Um, you're not, because they're, they're two different scents. You're just going to love them both. Okay, so let's talk about a couple of things. Um, five mils. Let me show you. Um, there are five mils. And so what I did is I tried to make sure I was, um, so you're going to get this much. So you got a good amount. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The killing is we only getting, trust me, the man Sarah's is killing. Okay. So it's a good size and I'm doing them in. So let me just show y'all. Um, so 
I haven't tried that one. That is on my list to try. Um, so I'm, I send mine out in the pretty travel spray so that when you, you have them, they'll be cute in your bag. So these are the decants. So when I, the decants are in these, so you'll be getting these and now you do, I mark them so you know which ones are which, but yes, these are the ones you'll be getting. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. I am mailing out on Friday. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They're five mils. So you have a nice amount to try. You can have these for a while. Yep, yep. So that's what you're getting, darlings. All right, now, some that I've tried that I have that we just gonna do a quick one so you can think about these too. Um, okay, we know we have Honor. This is I'm a Wash Sunshine Woman. I'm a Wash Sunshine Woman. This is Asmanthus. Now, Asmanthus has a slightly apricot scent. It's a floral, but it has a slight apricot scent to it. This is just, just beautiful, y'all. Um, oh, these are just beautiful. They're so beautiful. They're so stunning on. Um, they're just, oh, I didn't put this on. I might put this on. Um, they're just gorgeous on the skin, right? This smells like, um, just like, sun, it, it smells like a sunshiny sweet day. Like this beautiful sweetness to it. Um, oh, yes, this is Magna, baby. Let me show you the magnets on these, Jana. I showed them this before. So this, if you see on here, you can see it says sunshine, right? So if you put this on in opposite direction, so the sunshine isn't on, it turns itself. So sunshine will always be on the front. If that ain't if that ain't serious, magnetics. Then I love it. But yeah, this one is um, just this really beautiful, stunning, um, and something I've never smelled before. Um, it's it's by itself, um, sunshine woman, because it has just this beautiful um <laughs> beautiful just um gorgeous just smells like yes yes um yes stamping um contact me you can email me my email is in my description box and you can or hit me on ig on my um on my inbox on ig and i'll give you the list yes um no. And I will be adding some other things just for people to try. My um, more inexpensive ones, um, they will be listed too. But yeah, Sunshine Woman. And let me tell you, she hard to get. So I'm only giving up a little bit. I'm, uh, because she hard to come by at a good price. So whenever she comes, when, yeah. So you want to try her. And then when you see her, if you're willing to splurge, snatch her when you see her. Because she's hard to come by at a good price because she sells out all the time um but yeah it's this beautiful like apricot -y, um yet um I, I don't, you it's something that i've never smelled before either it's you know um yep uh, right yeah we we treat we team treat yourself okay so that's there musky musky garden musky garden so I got musky garden. You have to like musk, but because this is truly a musky garden. But on the skin, and now first off, this is the cutest. This is one of the cutest Mancera bottles ever, with the little floral on it. I love this bottle. First, let me just let me just say this. I love this bottle. Oh, you know it's you know it's the musky garden. Um, Come on, girl. Let me sit, let me have a little of your musky garden. But this is so beautiful. If you like musk and you want a floral musk, this is it. This is it. It's. Ugh. I know. I gotta say it with the with the Peabody voice. Musky garden. You know, for the people who know who, who Peabody is, I told y'all he contacted me. Can we go bike ride? Can we go bike ride? Are you insane? I ain't doing nothing with your crazy ass. 
cheap crazy ass. Okay, so Musky Garden is gorgeous. What y'all doing? Okay, so yes. Baby, yes. Happy hour at the senior living apartments. Yes. But yes. Oh, mm. so like I said, if you love musk, this is a this is one. And I'm not a huge musk person, but I love this. Something about it, it's like the musk really works well with the oh. um so if you love musk, this is a really beautiful one to have. Good old Peabody. And right, you gotta spell it right. P-E-E -E, body. Okay, so we have that. I think I'm gonna put Rockbot on the on the decant list. If people want to try this, I mean this is a really inexpensive one, but if you want to just try it, you're not sure about it, I'll put it on the list. So I'm gonna put it on the list just in case. Now I have another Mancera coming. Oh, did I say that out loud? Um, I have a Mancera coming, so I'm probably gonna add this into the list. Hi, Kali. Girl, you better say hello before then, right? So I have another man, Sarah, coming. But I have a decant over here. This is man, Sarah's wild cherry. It's a cherry, baby. Let me put this on my skin. Kylie, get off of there. Get with me, Juicy. Wild cherry. I got to put it on the list. It's coming. It'll be here Friday. Oh, it's a pretty cherry, too. Hello, hello. Yeah, I have cherry, a wild cherry. Mm-hmm, Sarah, wild cherry. It was a good deal. I had to take it. I'm just saying. Ooh, and she got the cherry going on. Okay. What, Melissa? Don't you love me, though? Me. Melissa, you love me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So... This is gorgeous. Mm, mm, mm. It's a really pretty cherry. I'm going to see how it smells. Okay, I'm going to let this dry down. And for everybody who doesn't know, this is on the decant list. This is on the decant list. This is MFK's A La Rose. This is on the decant list. Um, they taught me into keeping it one morning, Coco. They said decant it, just sell it off. I said, okay, I'm gonna sell it off. Um, <laughs> right. Um, so yeah. Um, so if you want to try it, yes, this is the order I could not cancel. So this is a beautiful rose the only reason i don't want it is because it doesn't last on me that's why i said um decanting it is good um so you can try people can try it out and see if they want to splurge on it because this is excuse me this is a beautiful stunning rose it just doesn't work on me um and if i don't wind up um if i don't wind up decan and i'll just try to swap it out you know do a swap with somebody um one of the either way it's gonna um <laughs> so um it's a beautiful stunning rose but it's just not something that i want so yeah it's nice good good but it's just so if people want to try it it's here but Ooh, that's good. That's some good stuff. 
Like I said, th all this does is fund me buying some more shit. Okay, I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. It's just gonna, it just goes to more bottles. I'm not sitting up here trying to act like I'm trying to make money. I just want to share and make enough. Um, it it disappears in about two hours on me. Now remember, I'm not good with fragrances, so that's the only thing. Matter of fact, let me spray it again because I have a decant of it. I have I actually have a decant of olive rose. That's what got me in trouble. Um, oh yeah, it's going right back in the perfume. <laughs> I'm buying. Listen, I buy the the bottles. There's travel sprays to sell out to give them to you. Um, let's go. Because I actually have a decan of it. So the thing is, I don't even have to spray that baby because I actually have it right here. This is what I got from Royalty Sense last month. Oh, what do you get? What you get from Ro Royalty Sense, um, Melissa? What did I order this month? I know I ordered Dior's Oud Ispahan and something else. I can't remember the other one. Oh, it's a um, Amouage. Um, how does it compare? Okay, honestly, honestly, it's not any better than any other roses that I have. It really isn't to me. Um, hush up, Lisa. You don't know me. Um, it's not any better than any rose I have. However, if someone's into want, really wants to get into MFK, this is a good spot because it's not quite as expensive. And if you like roses, now what I will say, I can't smell shit tonight. My nose is all fucked up. My, I'm stuffed up. Um, let me say which ones is close to. Um, um, M a la rose is a is more of a is like a, a garden rose it's more about just you know being in the garden where there's some sweetness in roses greedy roses vanille this is more of a you know it has a little spiciness um you know it's got a tad bit of spiciness in it but it's more about the roses it's like you were at a garden party and it was in a rose garden that's what this smells like it's got this like melange of roses so it's just it smells like a garden party it's very summery it's very um it's very much about um the the, the summer rose it really feels like summer rose in a bottle a summer rose in a bottle so so there we go that's that's what we're gonna say about it but it's beautiful um it's beautiful but it's just like it doesn't last on my skin let me say this if it lasted on my skin i would have kept it because it would have been a nice it would have been a good addition to my rose family <laughs> because i don't have enough roses in my family said lulu so that's where I'm going with it. So yeah, but uh, mm, mm, mm. it's beautiful. Mm, mm. So it's a beautiful rose. <coughs> and so this is what else I got this week. Oh, oh, and speaking of, I'm going to give up a little bit of Grand Soir. Now, if you love a sexy, ambery, vanilla scent, and you want to have the poshness of the poshest, because I love Essence Absolute, don't get me wrong, Alien Essence Absolute is the business, but if you want to have the poshest of the posh, of the ambers, of the sexy ambers, you want Grand Soir by MFK. I ain't gonna lie, this shit is good. So I am decanting and you can get this on and if you love it and you try it, let me know because sometimes I can, you can get it on the off market and I will hook you up with some people so you don't pay full price for this. But this baby and it's, it's a sexy amber. This is posh. This baby is posh all day long, baby. This is, you know, this is going out. Listen. 
this is going out you going out and you are going to just you know you just you just exu like honor and them are country club you know very country club this is sexy country club this is that chick at the country club that everybody can't stand because she be coming in like what have it right yeah yeah because you got a serious deal your deal was better than my deal so yeah this is stunning Stun stunning 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 so i will be doing a small decant of this because yeah this baby is gorgeous. gorgeous plus i know where i can get some more of it so i'm willing to share um delina and delina exclusive are on the list so if you really want to try them out now i to be quite honest if you want delina you can go and get a little more at royalty sense because they got more um they give you a little more than me because i can't afford to give it up like that uh right and right yes that's what you are in in grand soir and with Delina Exclusive, I did put on the list. You can get a few decants of that one because I can always get another bottle of that. I'm trying to bake because I can get another bottle of this. So if people really, really want it and it's like really in high demand, I'll do that one and just buy me a new bottle because I can get a good price on it. So it'll be, you know, I can do that. If people really want to try it. And that's all about y'all want to try it. Not necessarily because I ain't making up. I, listen, I checked. I, I did the numbers. I'm really not making that much money off of them. I'm just making a little bit back off of each bottle. And I don't care because the bottle is mine. I was going to, I bought it. I didn't buy it to sell it off. So it's not like it's a loss or anything. I'm like, oh my God, I didn't make enough on it. Um, it's just strictly about me sharing so you all can try stuff with me and so then i don't feel that and it is and i'm gonna be real with y'all it makes me feel better y'all buy the decaf for me because i be cringing when y'all be buying full bottles off of my work and i'll be like oh my god what if they don't like it then i'm gonna have to hear lou i bought this shit and it stank on me i'd rather you buy a decant and find out it stank on you than the whole bottle that's all i'm saying oh oh man this wild cherry is gorgeous oh yeah 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 it's got a floral base to it. I'll have to see what the notes are. Ooh, that cherry was cute though. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, the a la rose is a rose gardeny thing. Is it necessary? No. Um, but if you want that rose garden vibe, a la rose. This would be perfect though if you are like that person who's going to an event, but you're not grand soir kind of chick. You know, you're not grand soir. This is like wearing honor or something. This would be like that thing that you would carry in your travel spray. That's so gorgeous. It's like this beautiful, um, right, exactly. Um, and I'm so glad that it was only $12. Um, but this is the one that you would wear out. Not that person likes to have that, that heavy, deep scent on this is the kind of stuff that you will wear out this and it has that country club vibe to it it definitely has that um you know lady of leisure vibe to it and we should all smell like ladies of leisure so i got me coco by chanel now let me tell y'all this was my first purchase ever of a designer high-end perfume and interestingly enough, it's not that much more expensive than it was back in the day. When I bought this, and I bought this, it came out in 1984. I bought this in 1985. It had just came out a few months before I got it. I bought it because um, everybody was wearing Paris. You know, all the girls in my school, that's when we started. That in 1985, and, and Lisa could attest to this, like 84, 85 is when we as young women started wearing designer fragrances. And the big one was Paris by YSL because it was very, it was very floral. You know, Paris is very floral. It's very pretty. And so everybody was wearing Paris. Well, I went to the store and I was going to get something. I said, I ain't getting Paris. And Coco had just came into the Carson Peary Scott by my house and I bought it. And it was like, I remember I paid $85 for this damn bottle. 
I paid $85, but I loved it. And 18 years old, 17, 18 years old, this shit was so old on me. You know how they be like, fragrances are, this was not for a 17 or 18 year old, but I rocked Coco for a long time. But I have always been into like really deep fragrances because I did Obsession, I, I'm an 80s baby. I did Obsession, I did um, Poison, the original, the original Poison. Mm. I did um, Fendi, the original Fendi. If you don't shut up, shut up, Juicy. Go eat some food and get away from me. Ooh, but now I got to wear it because it's been so long since I've worn Coco. Honey, I love Coco so much. I had the lotion. I had the lotion. Yeah, see, Coco. Poison was after Obsession. It was Coco. Then it, If you don't shut your big mouth up. I'm ignoring her crazy ass. Right. Now, Gina Tay was, you know, little girl. Gina Tay was my first and loves baby saw. Right, girl? Don't say all to that little hoe. Mm -mm. Don't say all to her. Don't say all to her. Ignore her. She's just too much. We don't say all to her. I was going to share this one, but I said you can't get it, so there was no point in me sharing it. Um, and that is my Royal Rose Oud by McAuliffe. McAuliffe. Um, because this is, uh, this is discontinued, so I, I said no. But it's beautiful. Right, she's singing the song on a D, and I still got to get up. I just didn't, I, I need to get her to get that taken care of, but I just haven't been able to do it, so I got to get that together. So I got to call the place and make the appointment and get her in to get that taken care of. That has to be taken care of. Okay, so that is all the fragrances. We've had fragrance nights, um, blind buys. We've gone through them all. This was a pretty good blind buy, 20, you know, 25. For the majority of them, I really like them. Got a few meds, not too many. I don't have any that are just bad that I'm like, no, I can't stand. No, I don't want to. I'm getting rid of. Um, I don't not No, I do not need any more kittens in the house. Not at all. Because these two. Are bad enough as it is. Oh, should I put this on the list? Huh, I might put this on. Orchid Diva Knee. I have to think about that. I have to think. I might put this on the list because this is such a pretty fragrance. I would love for people to try it to see if they like it. I might do a few of those. So we'll see. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you all for hanging out with me. We had a great night. I see 82 people in here. I only have 17 likes. Apparently, y'all like to watch me, but y'all don't like like to like me. I'm just saying. <laughs> Michelle, I'm going to need y'all to stop talking crazy about me. I'm going to need y'all to stop talking crazy about me. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to need y'all to stop talking crazy about me speaking of cats um speaking of cats remember the white one uh they wound up being thank you i love another like they wound up being allergic to her so they asked me did i want her you know did i want and i i thank god i thought about it because roxy she's a little badass too i don't need three badass kittens in here so I said, no, I'm just go on. Y'all do y'all thing and find somebody. Because he was like, well, do you know somebody wants her? Yeah. Um, and they like her. They really want, but the mom, his mom is older. And it was for her, uh, the guy who got her. And she's allergic to her. And she's like in her 80s, so she can't have her. And she loves cats. Always had cats. But for some reason, she's um, allergic to her dander. So she can't keep her. And so she's kind of sad. Cause, and then 
So she's kind of sad because she kind of wanted her, but she can't have her. So. Yep, 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 yep. So anyway, thank y'all for hanging out with me. This has been a long... This wasn't one of my straight and to the point ones. This is a long fragrance one. Oh, well, not everybody going to watch. Yes, honey. Yes. Everybody has seen her. Uh, Miss Thing lost her job and everything, you know. Yeah, everybody saw her. And what's the funny thing? Okay. We need to get off of here. Because I don't, this will go on for 25 minutes about this. Um, okay, fuck it. Okay. This is all I'm going to say. She came back and apologized and said, I'm not a racist. But here's the thing. You did a racist thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just talk about this on a different one. Let's go on. Let's go on. Let's talk. Let's talk about Karen and the and okay let's talk about that i don't know how i'm gonna write it but let's go we coming back seconds because i got something to say all right hold on bye bye